And now it's time for our featured free game of the day. Florida travels to Neyland Stadium to take on the Tennessee Volunteers. Tennessee is an 11 point favorite. This is the first time since 2016 that Tennessee is both higher ranked and favored. This is the largest spread in favor of Tennessee since this matchup began 50 years ago, 36 matchups later. Minus 11 is the largest spread in favor of the Volunteers. And the last time Tennessee was favored by so much, they were favored by minus five, which is the largest they've ever been favored by. Florida went into Neyland, pulled the upset. So not great history going into this one. Florida is also 11 and four straight up, nine and five against the spread in Neyland Stadium since 1992. So a lot of the history is favoring Florida in this one. But this is a new year, new day, and I th probably Tennessee fans try and tell themselves that every single year with new coaches and a new turnover. But I mean, it's it's new from top to bottom. Florida's gone through some changes. They've had 15 million quarterbacks since Tim Tebow. They aren't the same Florida that they used to be. Billy Napier has now stepped in, and he's turning that program around, but they had a scare last week against USF. I don't know if they have the guys. Tennessee, on the other hand, with Josh Heupel, is looking really, really good. Hendon Hooker is a fantastic quarterback. I think Tennessee has the, uh, has the edge in almost every single statistical category in this game. They're the much better overall team. Offensively, defensively, they're the ninth most efficient team in the country. They're ninth in EPA. They do what they're expected to do, and they overperform expectations. They've done that throughout the season. They know how to win a close one against Pitt. They know how to win blowouts. Number 11, Tennessee, an 11-point spread. I think that's the play here. Um, the Florida has the history. But Tennessee's 3-0 against the spread this season. Florida's just 1-2 against the spread. Haven't really been in a lot of close games. And 66% of the public is on Florida here at plus 11. It's come down to plus 10.5, and, and this line's been floating around 10, 10.5, inching all the way up to 11 at one point. I got this at Tennessee minus 11, and I feel comfortable at that. If you can get it minus 10, minus 10.5, bounce on that. But really, whatever you can find around what the lines are, I would jump on it as well because our power line believes Tennessee minus 16 is the play. Both of our estimates think that Tennessee covers. Uh, both of our both of our estimates have the edge on the over as well. I'm not playing the total in this game, but I really feel like Tennessee is the much better team. If we look at some of these betting angles, there is the fact that Josh Heupel's 3-13 and after gaining 7.25 or more yards per play in the last game. But the two things favoring Tennessee in this one, Florida's 1-9 coming off of a home, against the spread, coming off of a home win in the last three seasons, coming off of a very lackluster win against USF. Florida's also 1-7 against the spread against good passing teams. And you can read it right there. We're going to define a good passing team, completing more than 58% of their passes over the last two seasons. So, yeah, it's the largest spread in 50 years. Yeah, the history tells me Florida probably can go into Neyland and they know what they're doing. Yeah, the last time Tennessee had, well, it wasn't even half of this spread. They were minus five. Their next largest time, they were favored over Florida at home. Florida went in and won. I get all of that, right? But Josh Heupel is a damn good coach. Hendon Hooker is a damn good quarterback. And this offense, this defense, playing complimentary football, whatever cliche you want to use, this Florida team averages 52 points per game. They only allow 14 points per game. They've only allowed 20 first downs, 2.8 yards per rush. And that's going up against Pitt, a solid ACC school. Tennessee's also gone up against Arkin or Akron. Granted, their other two games weren't necessarily great. I, I thought that was Arkansas for a second. That's on me, folks. But against their real test so far this season against Pitt, they won in OT. I think Tennessee runs away with this one. There's a lot of bad blood. Tennessee hasn't had the upper hand against Florida all that often since 1992. Give me Tennessee. I think this is a get-right game. This Not a get-right game, but a get-right with this rivalry game. But, I mean, Tennessee is just tearing teams up. 10.9 yards per completion, 7.1 yards per play. They're holding opponents to just 4.7 yards per play. Give me Tennessee minus 11. I'm feeling really, really good about that one. So thank you so much for tuning in to DRF Daily. Quick breakdown of our best bets from today's show. We're going Arkansas plus two against Texas A&M. 
I said it's at Texas A&M, but it's more of a neutral site game playing in Jerry World. I think Arkansas can keep it close, and Arkansas might, may be even able to pull off the upset. Or I guess it's not as te technically an upset. They're the higher-ranked team. They might be able to pull off the outright win. Give me Arkansas plus two. Oregon State plus six, right? Oh, excuse me. Oregon State plus six. Our power line likes Oregon State to be favored in this game. Our estimates are all over Oregon State. There's something I'm missing in this game. The sharp money, the professional money is on Oregon State. The public, though, is on USC. Give me Oregon State plus six in this game. Um, I think they might even be able to pull off the upset if you want to get a little freaky with that money line. I Please do and let me know how it goes. Tweet at us at DRF Sportsbook. If you're in Iowa, place that bet with DRF Sportsbook and let me know how that goes because I'm really interested. I'm just going to go Oregon State plus six. You see right there last time out, 0-3, oh, trying to bounce back from that. So I don't want to get too aggressive as I try and build back my bankroll after a terrible Friday night. Oregon State, USC, same game. We're going to go over 70 and a half points. Both of these offenses are electric. Both of these offense, both of these defenses aren't necessarily great, haven't really been tested. So give me the over 70 and a half points. And then give me Tennessee minus 11 against Florida. We just broke that down. I think Tennessee's the better overall team. I think Tennessee's one of the best teams in the nation, according to EPA, according to expected points added. Tennessee's offense is there. Tennessee's defense is there. They haven't necessarily played a lot of great competition. Only one true quote unquote test, and that came against Pitt. This is going to be another big test, but I don't think Florida's that great, and I think Tennessee is legit. So give me Tennessee minus 11. So thank you so much for tuning in to DRF Daily. We'll be back tomorrow with some NFL best bets, and we'll be back Monday with Monday Night Football best bets. Hope your Saturday is profitable. You all have a wonderful rest of your day. See ya. Introducing the DRF Cash Grab app, the super easy, free to play sports predictor game from a name you know and trust, the Daily Racing Forum. Use your sports knowledge to predict the winners and you could score thousands of dollars in cash prizes. Pro football, college football, pro basketball, college basketball, hockey, soccer, boxing, baseball, and more. Compete against others for a spot on the monthly leaderboard. Download the DRF Cash Grab app and play today.